Hey everybody, it's Mike at Shadow Wing Arms and today I wanted to shoot a short video on my everyday carry, what I don't leave home without pretty much ever. Uh, so we'll start with this old cheap wallet I've got. I need to get something a little bit more nicer and newer. Uh, I want to reduce the amount that I carry and get something a little bit smaller. I don't know that I'll ever go with a, like a front pocket carry on a wallet. I'm more traditional, I guess. I still want to carry it in my, my hip pocket. But I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit smaller. So any suggestions you might have on a, on a nice wallet, thin wallet, would be uh, appreciated. Um, now then I've got my keys and uh, a little Swiss Army companion. Uh, anytime, uh, I mean, I use this thing all the time. It's just uh, the tooth, the uh, toothpick and tweezers. I use these tweezers and the scissors, and the little blade is really sharp. Um, then uh, I got the Casio G Shock. I've always been pretty tough on watches, and uh, so this is uh, my second one in about 20 years. They just hold up forever for me and just like them a lot. I don't worry about what I'm doing. Will I tear up my watch? These just, I haven't been able to break one yet. Um, then I uh, always got my, my handkerchief around. Million, million things you can do with that. Um, then the, I carry the Streamlight Stylus Pro. Beautiful light. Love it. Uh, I've got some double A's, some Phoenix, and different things, but uh, I, I wear this one in my shirt pocket. Use it a lot here at the shop, um, and just comes in super handy. Uh, then, right now, I'm carrying the uh, Car P40. Um, I've got the old Don Hume, yep, an old Don Hume holster. I carry it in, and. Uh, you should always carry a spare magazine. It's the one I carry in the gun, seven rounds, and I got the six rounder. Um, then knives. Well, my uh, my son-in-law's dad, Jim, bought me this Christmas 2014. This uh, he drew my name for Christmas, and so he got me the Buck Vantage Pro, and I really really like it. Uh, it's the Vantage Pro has the S30V stainless steel and a super deep pocket carry. Uh, I mean, it goes all the way down, and I, I usually tuck the uh, lanyard in my pocket too, so that's really all that shows right there uh, the clip. Nothing much else sticking above the top of my pocket. Uh, the S30V is really nice. Uh, it did come with the blade off-centered, it was actually touching here, and we uh, we disassembled it a little bit and uh, got the uh, the blade squared up in there, and uh, really like it. It's just such a comfortable knife. That G10 uh, sculpted handle feels good in the hand, and uh, then we showed a, in a, our last video, uh, March 2014, we showed the process of coating the uh, Kershaw Leak composite blade and uh, this is just one of the colors that we did. Uh, it matches the the slide on Rocky's car is that same color and uh, we thought it would be nice to you know make a knife gun that uh, combination that shared that color. Uh, since the video we went to our engraver at AccuLaser here in Lee Summit, Missouri and he Put our logo on the uh, in, engrave our logo on the scale, but this has got the composite blade, the D2 tool steel cutting edge, and then Sandvik stainless, uh, so you get the uh, the strength of both metals in one blade. And we haven't sharpened these yet, but uh, we've had them carried them from well since before Thanksgiving in 2014, and it's uh, March 2015. Still takes the hair right off, and it's just sharp, and uh, and I like that composite edge. I don't know how well it'll show up on the camera, but uh, it just it gives it a really unique look. 
I think Damascus may be the only thing that's prettier than that, uh, the Damascus steel blades. Here's the real workhorse. Uh, we don't have queen cutlery uh, anywhere I can find here in Missouri, uh, in, in, in the Kansas City, at least Summit area. But uh, Rocky, my business partner, found this in one of his old tackle boxes. We got it somewhere around here. Uh, it's called the Country Cousin. D2 tool steel, Delrin handle, uh, heavy pivot. It's a really, really nice and really sharp knife. And it's, uh, but it's a, you know, it's a slip joint. You, it's a two-hander. I, I like to have a one open, a one-hand opening, uh, flipper, assisted, and the non-assisted flipper. They're they're really nice. Uh, and then my my uh, my newest Leatherman tool is the uh, is the Wingman. I had uh, been carrying the Blast. I've got uh, the uh, Crunch. And I never have used any of those others as much as I use this. I've got a Zilla tool from uh, CRKT at home. But uh, this one gets used all the time. It's uh, the spring-loaded. Uh, it's not quite as, as uh, heavy-duty of a tool, and, the, and there's some little, little things. But, boy, is it usable. It really is usable. And uh, um, we, we uh, use it <laughs> practically every day. In some form or other, and that, that blade is really sharp. It's the only thing I have that's ser serrated. Um, and the, the scissors are spring loaded and sharp. They really are nice and sharp. And uh, uh, I've used them to cut a few things, and it, it just comes in handy. It's, it's big enough to do most jobs, and yet it's small enough you can carry it and not really notice it too much. And the belt I use is the reversible black or I guess that's Coyote Brown 511. I've been wearing this one for a little over a year. Really, really like it, and it looks just about as good as brand new. Held up real well. Like it a lot. Um, anyway, guys, that's it. That's it for uh, for this video. But if you uh, would uh, like to leave a comment or a suggestion, I especially I uh, would especially like to hear. Uh, some suggestions on, uh, I don't know, been looking at sailcloth knives, or pardon me, sailcloth wallets and uh, uh, a Jimmy wallet and some different things. I'm just trying to make up my mind. Uh, Spec Ops makes a, a nice little wallet, ballistic. I just want to go with something a little bit more modern, not as cheap and junky as this one here. It's falling apart. Uh, so any suggestions you might have for a wallet, that would really be nice. Um, but folks, have a great day. God bless you, and, uh, and we'll see you soon on the next video. Take care, and thanks a lot.